knowledge transfer is a very important part of what we do in a university. And by knowledge transfer we mean how we tell people in the wider community about what we're actually doing and what we've learned through our research. Whether that's politicians, uh, people in government, people in industry, or the general public. And so we have lots of different ways of telling them about our research. Uh, for example, we might publish reports that are targeted at particular groups, perhaps uh, the government or an industry. Uh, sometimes we work with people, um, we will give public lectures sometimes, sometimes we work with uh, children, sometimes we'll go to schools and work in schools. There's lots of different ways that we do this. So our initial hydrogen project was funded by the UK Research Councils who have been set up by government in order to fund important and useful research uh, throughout the UK on many different things. That was when we, that was that started off this project and that let us build up the tools and now, and now more recently we have funding from different areas so for example we have funding on, on the future of the gas networks which comes from a, an industry body rather than the government. I work within, with a team within the institute here at UCL. Uh, we have several people who are interested in hydrogen modelling and economic modelling. And so I, we work together on projects. Uh, when, and, but also I work with outside companies. So for example, I'm working with a team from Loughborough and a team from Netherlands. So I was very interested in how we can use hydrogen in society. And one thing I was interested in is whether we can use it in, within our homes. I started learning more about the gas system and about how we currently use natural gas. And it's actually very difficult to, to replace natural gas because it's cheap, it, the device is very small, it will give a very high power output so it will heat up your home quickly, it's very quiet, your gas boiler, and people really, really, really like gas. What that could mean in the future is that people use hydrogen in their houses instead of natural gas. And I think we're not thinking in the immediate future, we're thinking maybe 15, 20 years time. Um, and for the people at home, that will actually make very little difference in terms of what they get. They will still have heat when they turn on their boiler. But for the first time, they won't be producing any carbon emissions when they do that. And that's a really huge change for us.